They were even willing to sell our house in order to pay for a cure. Wow. How now, Siva? How do you got there, bud? Of course there isn't a cure. Is there no cure for... Uh, What's well, a condition, I guess. You get a new heart, right? Or is it the heart? Could be the brain. I don't know. Wait, if it's a... If it has to do with brain, is it... It's neurological. Isn't there a word for it, though? I don't know. Because of the late discovery of this condition, I've had to stay at the hospital to recuperate from the treatments. When I was first admitted, there was this fine little nurse who wanted my number and no, that's not. It felt as if I was missed. For about a week, my room in the ward, ward I have a problem with ours, don't make fun of me, was full of flowers, balloons, and cards. Excuse me. But the, vis the visitors soon dwindled and all the get well gifts began trickling down to nothing shortly after. I realized that the only reason I had gotten so many cards and flowers was because sending me their sympathy had t had been turned into a class project. Ah, oh, that's messed up. Don't you hate that? When it's like, you know, because I, I had a friend of mine who was sick at school and like... Uh, one of the, one of my teachers, uh, for like movie appreciation, he uh, he had everyone make uh, a get well card, and he had everyone get into like a like in a little video to say get well soon, you know. And he like everyone that participated got an A, and of course, you know, everyone participated except for the kids who already had like a perfect grade. <laughs> it was just I don't know, it's messed up. Uh, maybe some people were genuinely concerned, but I doubt it. Even in the beginning, I barely had visitors. By the end of the first month, only my parents came by on a regular basis. Man, that's sad. Yeah, just leave that there. Anna was the last to stop visiting. Well, that's kind of sweet, I guess. After six weeks, I never saw her again. Ooh, we never had that much to talk about when she visited it. When she visited anyway. Sorry, I'm just I'm getting teary-eyed. Not really. I barely know this kid. Although I guess it's supposed to be me. We didn't touch the subject that was between us on that snowy day ever again. Really, you never talked about it ever again. You weren't like, hey, I know I have arrhythmia. But I'd really like to get in your pants. I mean, I'd really like to talk about your boobs. I mean, I'd really like to talk about your personality. Yeah, that's the one. The hospital. It's not really a place I'd like to live in. I don't think anyone would want to live in a hospital. Me, personally, I am terrified of... What is it? Old people. Like, uh... A retirement home. I just... All the old people, man. Freaks me out. The doctors and nurses feel so impersonal and faceless. Wow, this is getting gloomy. And can we have some kind of change? I mean, just... I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm reading all this. I guess it's because they are in a hurry and they have a million other patients waiting for them. Is that true? Is that really true? A million? I doubt it. I doubt it. But it makes me feel uncomfortable. For the first month or so, I asked the head cardiologist every time I saw him for a rough estimate of when I'd be able to leave. He never answered anything in a straightforward way, but told me to wait and see if the treatment and surgeries worked. So I idly observed the scar that those surgeries had left on my chest. Dude, wicked scar, man. Hell yeah. I'd love to have a scar on my chest. Not really, if it was arrhythmia. Wait, so they did a surgery to do what, though? I had a heart attack. Do you get surgery when you have? I guess you do. I'm not really sure what a heart attack is. Well, I mean, I know what it is. Pulmonary uh, embolism. Is that what it is? No. I think it's something else. Um, slowly change its appearance over time. Thinking of it as some kind of omen. Of an omen. Whatever. Dude, that movie was downright stupid. I still ask the head cardiologist about leaving. But my expe expectations are low enough that now that I'm not disappointed anymore when I don't get a reply. So what, am I never going to leave? Does this whole game take place in a fucking hospital? 
excuse me, man. It's, I got the burples. The way he shuffles around the answer shows... Wait. The way he shuffles around the answer shows that there is at least some hope. Is that what it means? I could be dying, man. Maybe that's why he's shuffling around the fucking answer. At some point, I stopped watching TV. I don't know why. I just did. That's good to know. I wouldn't stop watching TV, man. That'd be my, like, only one... Yeah, escapism. Yeah. Maybe it was the wrong kind of escapism for my situation. Why? I don't get it. I started reading instead. There was a small library at the hospital, although it was more like a storeroom for books. I began working my way through it, one small stack at a time. After consuming them, I would go back for more. I'm sorry, are we talking about books or pistachios? I don't get it. I love me some pistachios, man. Do that or like almonds? Hell yeah. Or maybe uh, cashews. Do ca- Oh, dude. Man, you know that sweet and crunchy peanuts? Oh, man. Oh. oh, it's out of this world. I found that I liked reading, and I think I've even become a bit addicted. Addicted to reading? I guess that can happen. I mean, I would never become addicted to reading. Holy shit, that'd be too boring. I started feeling naked without a book in my hands. Now, it's funny, I say that, but I'm... Um, playing a game where all I do is read but I loved the stories that was what my life was like the days became increasingly harder to distinguish from each other differing only by the book I was reading and the weather outside it felt like time blurred into some kind of gooey mess I was trapped inside instead of moving within yeah, this game was only like 427 megabytes I think it definitely wasn't gigabytes uh, a week could go by without me really noticing it. This is so gloomy and depressing. Sometimes I'd pause in realization that I didn't know what the day, what day of the week it was. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. But other times, all the things that surrounded me would painfully crash into my consciousness through the barrier of nonchalance. Right? That's nonchalance. Yeah. I had set up for myself. I've never heard, I've never heard nonchalance. Like nonchalantly, you know. I've always heard it like that, but nonchalance. The pages of my book would start to feel sharp and burning hot and then and the heaviness in my chest would become so hard to bear that that I had to put the book aside and just lay down for a while. Are you kidding me? My heart's fucking having a panic attack because I'm reading looking at the ceiling as if I was going to cry wow but that happened only rarely rarely? yeah and I couldn't even cry why not? what's wrong with crying? be a man today the doctor comes in and gives me a smile to know why am I they couldn't at least like drew me like have drawn me on the bed reading a book or something, turning a page. He seems excited, but not very. Seems excited, but not very. It's, you know... He's either excited or he's not. Does he look kind of normal? Is he anxious? Oh my god, this is where he tells me I'm going to die. It's like he is trying to make an effort to be happy on my behalf. Yeah. Oh, see? He's, this is where it comes. My parents are here. It's been a few days since I've last seen them. Both of them are even sort of dressed up oh my oh dude this is gonna be bad is this supposed to be some kind of special occasion it's not a party there's this ritual the head cardiologist has he takes he takes his time sorting his papers then setting setting them aside as if to make a point a point has been made a point point of a pencil maybe of the point <laughs> To make a point of the pointlessness of what he just did. What? what kind of ritual is that? This guy sounds like he should be in a mental institute. Then he casually sits down on the edge of the bed next to mine. He looks me in the eyes for a moment. Hello, I so, he so, he sow. How do you, how, how do I say my name? He sow? He sow. I'm going to say he, he sow. 
It's out. Bow. How are you today? I don't answer him, but I smile a little back at him. <laughs> back at you, man. <laughs> don't. I believe that you can go home. Oh, shit, man. Wait, so how was I? How long was I in the hospital? Was it only for like, let's say six months, so at least like two months. Or not six months, six weeks. So at least two months I was here. Probably more than that. Your heart is stronger now, and with some precautions, you should be fine. What kind of precautions? Can I not talk to girls anymore? Oh my god. What kind of life is worth living? We have all your medication sorted out. I'll give your father the prescription. Oh yeah, heavy duty drugs. The doctor hands <clears throat> the doctor hands a sheet of paper to my dad, whose expression turns wooden as he reads it quickly. Oh shit, what is it? Is it coma medicine? I don't get it. So many. <laughs> Alright, Dad. Let's calm down. Alright. Take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. I take it from his hand and take a look for myself. Take a look myself, not for whatever. Feeling numb. Oh my god, numb. Am I having another heart attack? Am I getting too excited? It's just pills, man. Calm down. How am I supposed to react to this? <laughs> am I blacking out? I guess I'm whiting out. Oh. Oh, are these real? What? This says 100, mi oh, 100 milligrams a day. The absurdly long list of medications staring back at me from the paper seems insurmountable. It's a word I haven't heard in a long time. They all blend together in a sea of letters. Fatigue. Cardiolol. Dude, I'm no doctor, so. Dizziness, I know that word. Uh, yeah. Hypotension? Is that a word? I thought it was hypertension. It could be hypertension, I don't know. This is insane. No, I'm insane. <laughs> Side effects, adverse effects, contradictions, and dosages are listed line after line with cold precision. I try to read them, but it's so futile. Man, just get over yourself, man. It's just medication, man. You pop one pill, take a swig of whiskey. Well, maybe not whiskey, but, you know, like orange juice. How old am I again? I can't understand any of it. Attempting to only make mistakes. Attempting to only... Wait, wait, wait. Attempting to only makes me feel sicker. Or oh, attempting to only makes me fall sicker. I don't know why. That was so weird. All this for the rest of my life. Every day. Yep. You got it. Sorry, I was checking the time. I'm afraid that this is the best we can do at this point. However, new medications are always being developed. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that list fade over the years. Great. So, yeah, can't they just put medication together? Can I blend it together? I mean, I probably shouldn't put it in a blender, but come on, man. Yeah, take all those pills every day. Years. What kind of confidence booster is that? Not a very good one. I'd have felt better if he hadn't said anything at all. Also, I've spoken to your parents, and we believe that it would be best if you don't return to your old school. What? So I'm not even going to see Anna? 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 It's Anna. Why does that name sound familiar? I keep saying that. What? Yeah, exactly what I said. Please, calm down. Hisao? Hisao? Hiso? I wish I knew how to pronounce him. Uh, let's just... Sal. Please, calm down, Sal. Now that just sounds weird. Uh, Hisa? Maybe I should just call myself Hisa. Please, calm down, Hisa. Listen to what the doctor has to say. I've listened, and it doesn't sound too good. Calm down? The way he says it tells me he knew full well that I wouldn't like it. Well, yeah, and it's, it's pretty shitty. Am I going to be homeschooled? God, I hope not. Be one weird dating sim. Whatever my concern shows, it's ignored. We all understand that your education is paramount. 
However, I don't think that's a, that it's wise for you to be without supervision. Yeah, well, you never know. I could fucking nail it by myself. Probably. Stupid chair. Squeaky. At least not until we're sure that your medication is suitable. So you're not even sure if the medication will suit me. Hmm. So, I've spoken to your parents about a transfer. Oh. 